how to learn how to code Python fast. What's up everyone? My name is Jacob Amaral. If you're new to this channel, I focus on coding and building software to invest for me in the stock market automatically. And today I wanted to talk about Python, one of the most popular coding languages when it comes to software development and how I learned to code Python fast, okay? So I've been coding for almost nine years now and I had a very strong background in languages such as C-sharp and JavaScript, but not really Python. And when I started getting into investing and day trading, um, one of the most popular languages to build uh, software and systems to automate my investments was Python. Now, I would say I still focus on C-sharp uh, a lot for most of my trading systems, but Python is a massive player when it comes to libraries, machine learning, AI, and just overall encompasses a lot of solutions when it comes to day trading, day trading and investing. So knowing Python, I think is super important if you wanna get into the business and in general, knowing Python is re really good for getting a job uh, in software development because it's probably, I think it's the most popular language in the world. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure it's the most popular language in the, ro in the world. So it's really important to know, okay? So today I wanna to talk about how I learned Python really quickly, okay? So I got three tips for you guys. If, you're, if you want to learn how to code or you want to learn a new language such, such as Python really quickly, I recommend you following these steps uh, because they work for any language and you wanna be able to learn it as fast as possible as you can start creating solutions and software with that language, okay? So number one, the fastest way to learn how to code for me, right? And this works for me, is definitely picking up a book, okay? Getting a book uh, for a language, it doesn't matter which book, it doesn't have to be a specific book, brand, or whatever it may be. As long as you get a general book, on languages and you finish the whole book, you read through the whole book, you do all the examples, which is really important, you know, do every single example, even if you want, don't want to, just do it. Do the example, complete it, um, you know, within a month, even less than a month, you'll be very proficient in that language or specific topic, okay? So like I said, it doesn't, it doesn't matter which book you get, just get a book and finish the whole thing. And the most important thing is do all the examples you will learn a lot faster by doing rather than just reading or watching. Um, so definitely doing the examples for me helped a lot. And I've used this, you know, pretty much almost every new language. I do get a book. I mean, I've only got it for actually Java and Python, but both those times where I got the book, I read the whole thing and I did all the examples. Within a month, I was very proficient in that language. With that being said, every day I was reading it and every day I was doing examples. If you're only doing it, you know, once a week or once a month, it's gonna take you a lot longer to become proficient. If you do it every day, you'll be proficient pretty quickly. Um, and overall, the more time you put into it, the more reward you're gonna get. So tip number one um, would be, you know, getting a book, reading the whole thing and doing all the examples. Tip number two, definitely if you have friends or colleagues in the space that know that language, that know Python, it would help you a lot. Um, I have a couple friends that are pretty proficient in Python, so whenever I had a question uh, that I was stuck on, I would definitely reach out to them. Obviously, everyone doesn't have a network of other programmers or friends that know how to program, so I totally get if you know you don't have you don't know anyone in the um, in the space, say knowing Python or coding in general. In that case, I would definitely look to join you know Facebook groups or online communities of developers like, you know, subreddits. Um, the subreddit for Python is probably very, very great for learning how to code Python. But yeah, definitely uh, becoming a part of a network or a group of people that are proficient in that specific topic uh, would help a lot. So I was able to ask my friends, um, you know, very basic Python questions that, you know, saved me a lot of time, saved me a lot of hours. If I tried to Google it and learn it myself, um, it would take me a lot longer. So tip number two, Try and surround yourself with like-minded people. Um, when it came to Python, I had a couple friends that knew Python, so I was able to talk to them and solve problems a lot quicker. Tip number three is YouTube. YouTube, which you're probably watching this video on right now, generally one of the most powerful platforms out there when it comes to education and learning. Um, I don't have any experience with you know online courses such as you know Udemy or Udacity, so I can't really um, I can't, I can't really speak on those, but there's tons, tons of online free content uh, when it comes to learning how to program, 
uh, and, and build software and, and build trading bots on YouTube and it's all for free, right? So why not utilize it? Um, there was a couple, you know, more advanced topics that I wanted to do, especially when it came to coding trading bots and building specific niche solutions that I found on YouTube. I wasn't able to find it on Google, um, but I did find it on YouTube and specific videos on that. So um, definitely utilize YouTube to learn new topics uh, and educational topics. Uh, and I was able to, more, more of the advanced stuff I found on YouTube. Um, I found that my book uh, that I did get uh, which I'll link in the description below. It did pretty well and it got definitely to advance, but um, a lot of niche topics with, with trading bots, for example, I found on YouTube. Um, so definitely utilize YouTube to learn how to, um, you know, code Python. And like I said, within, um, so doing all these three tips. So number one, uh, buying a book, doing all the examples, reading through the whole, um, reading through the whole book. Two, talking to my friends and colleagues that I know uh, that new Python, asking them questions and, and YouTube, you know, uh, watching tutorials and just searching for topics that I was interested in. Um, within about a month, I was very proficient in Python and I could easily create a new project and, and generate a solution um, for that specific need uh, very quickly and have full, full on projects done in, within a couple hours. Um, mostly trading bots. Obviously, you guys know that I do code and build uh, trading bots that invest in the stock market for me automatically. And I built a couple uh, Python training bots very relatively very quickly from these three tips. Okay, so um, definitely utilize outside sources. I know it's very scary going in, going in alone, learning coding in general, and then a new language as well. For sure, it's very very scary, and I know a lot of people get anxiety that you know they feel like they'll, they'll never, like it's too hard, or they're never going to learn it. But if you're just consistent every day. Um, spending a little bit of time learning that new language or learning how to code, um, you'll be surprised how proficient you'll be over a month, three months, six months, um, that you'll surprise yourself, okay? And I find myself, I get very anxious or very worried that I won't be able to figure it out. And it's when I'm not doing it, when I'm, you know, going to sleep or like, you know, just sitting around, that's when I'm anxious. But when I actually try it and start doing and, and putting my fingertips to the keyboard, I get less anxious and more confident. You just gotta do it. Um, so overall, that'd be my biggest tip is if you feel worried or anxious or scared that you won't be able to learn a new language or build a solution or code a trading bot, just doing it will make you more confident and less anxious and you'll surprise yourself and you'll be pretty happy that you you know built that solution. So that'd be my biggest tip. And um, yeah, overall, that's how I learned Python really, really fast. Let me know in the comments below um, if these tips make sense to you and if you use them, learning a new language. So if you're looking to learn Python, uh, let me know how you're doing it. I do have a coding mentorship in the description below as well. If you wanna learn how to code Python or learn how to code trading bots to invest for you in the stock market automatically, um, you can check out if you would like, if you feel value. Uh, but if not, you know, don't wor no worries, no hard feelings. I'll always be uh, posting new content here on YouTube for free, okay? So that's all, that's all I got for today. I will see you next week and have a good one, guys.